Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica! Sage of legend, lend me your power. Help me fulfill my duty and protect the luminary. <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? <laughs> Father Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop! Staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. Darling, there you are. We couldn't find you anywhere. Oh, we were so worried about you. so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! Mm. <laughs>
Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? finally be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. Do you play an instrument too, Veronica? No, the 
high priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time, so our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall? at the same time, too. Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> but I hope they do. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? It's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. So 
this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Huh. you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now. Princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? Impressive, but it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. Come, Luminary, all of you, prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
No, this cannot be. I cannot be defeated. I cannot disappoint my master. And what do we have here? What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? <laughs> Master, help me. <gasps> Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. <laughs> I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Darkspawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father! <laughs> oh! Uh, Jade! My beloved daughter, how is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. Come, let me look at you. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless, Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. 
The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time. It is beautiful, magnificent. May I take a closer look? Ah! What, what, what was that? No matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait. You're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert. You are the defenders of Yggdrasil, the unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. Time I will make amends, I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor.